So this question says, according to the system of equations above, what is the value of x? So I'd like to first of all bring your attention to the fact that once again, as we've seen multiple times on this test, we have two equations, two unknowns, otherwise known as a system of equations. And therefore, we should really think about the possibility of using elimination, which I'll write as elim, or substitution, or which I'll write out as sub. So we're looking for the value of x. So if we want to use elimination, there's two ways to do this. Either I can eliminate the x term, which I could easily do here by just subtracting the entire second equation here. That, however, would lead my x to cross out. I'd be left with a negative y equals, I'm sorry, so it's already negative 25, making it positive 25. Negative y would equal um, 16 positive 16, which means that y would equal negative 16. But I'd have to keep in mind that I wasn't looking for y, I was trying to find x, which means I then need to use that negative 16, plug it back in to, to figure out what y is. So I could say that x minus 16 equals negative 9. So when I add 16 to both sides, I get x equals 7. So my answer is 7. That's one way to solve it. So I'm going to erase all this, and we're going to do it in a different way. You could also use elimination and say, well, because the question is asking for x, why don't I just eliminate y instead of eliminating x? So I could do that by multiplying the entire first equation by negative 2. That would give me negative 2x minus 2y equals 18. The bottom equation would not change, and I'd have x plus 2y equals negative 25. And when I add those together, I would have negative x, my y's are gone, they've been eliminated, equals negative 7, divide by negative 1 on both sides, and I'd have x equals positive 7. So once again, the 7 that we knew was the answer from the previous process. So those are the two ways in which you can do elimination. Let's do this again, instead using substitution. Just to show you that really it's just whatever your preference is, especially with this particular question, you can use either elimination or sub. So because we're trying to find x, I am going to use substitution by isolating y in the first equation, so x plus y equals negative 9. I would then subtract x from both sides, leaving me with y equals negative x minus 9, which I can then plug into the y value in the second equation. So I'd have x plus 2 parentheses instead of y. I'd replace that with negative x minus 9 is equal to negative 25. When I simplify this, I'd have x, 2 times negative x is negative 2x, 2 times negative 9 is negative 18, equals negative 25. So again, further simplification, combining like terms, I have negative x minus 18 equals negative 25. Add 18 to both sides. And I get negative x equals negative 7. And once again, we know that that is x is equal to positive 7. So three ways um, to elimination options and a substitution option here as well. Technically, there is one other substitution option where we can substitute for x instead of y, but that would be a waste of time. But you still could get to the final answer using that. Um, if you have a question regarding that, just uh, just drop a note in the comment section here. But if not, hopefully this all made sense. And again, the big picture here is anytime you see this setup on an SAT math question, it's really great if you think about elimination and substitution.